Hi everyone, welcome to the AV Team channel. Today's video is different from the others. Today we are introducing Insta360. This camera has many unique features, including lenses on both sides of the camera, which allows you to capture 360 degrees of footage, hence the name Insta360. Our video is divided into three sections, including footage that we've taken from the car, while riding the bike, and while walking. At the end of the video, we've also included unboxing footage to show other equipment and pieces that come along with this purchase. Thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Let's begin with some biking footage from Lakeshore, Toronto. We purchased the Insta360 ONE X2 back in February after watching many bike packers rave about it in their videos. After watching a vlogger bike across Japan using this camera, we decided that we needed to get it. The beauty of the Insta360 is that it allows you to capture what's happening around you all in one shot. You don't need to readjust or reframe your shots in order to capture something. This is especially useful when biking because once you start recording, you can just focus wholeheartedly on pedaling and enjoying the scenery around you. This biking footage, along with all other footage in this video, was captured in March, which is why you might spot some lifeless trees and even snow on the ground. Of course, in Canada, you'll always find the odd number of people wearing shorts, regardless of if it's minus 10 or plus 10 weather. The next bit of footage was captured on our drive to and from Niagara Falls, which is about 120 kilometers away from our home. This is us driving through Niagara on the lake, a tourist town on the edge of Niagara Falls that is lined with many cute shops and eating spots. There are also many country-style inns and guest houses where visitors can stay. Due to COVID-19, this usually bustling tourist area has been the hardest hit from the lack of international visitors. Now we're pulling up to the parking lot in front of Niagara Falls. I decided to stick the camera out of the sunroof and would you look at that? Perfectly clear and not shaky footage. Now, 
This trip to Niagara Falls was actually planned in the last minute on a Sunday afternoon. Because pandemic-related restrictions have closed most things even now, we thought it would be fun to go watch the sunset at Niagara, and being a Sunday evening by the time we reach, we thought it won't be too busy. Much to our surprise, many other people apparently had the same plan. The last bits of snow were melting around the corners, and as we came closer to the falls, the great pressure of the water sprinkled our camera lenses and our clothes with cold water droplets. And just as we walked past the crowded areas to get a better view, the mist around the falls cleared up to form a beautiful rainbow, and it was connected all the way through. We, along with the rest of the tourists, pulled out our little phones to capture this beauty before it quickly disappeared. And literally after taking a couple steps forward, the beautiful rainbow disappeared as we turned around. After walking around the falls a bit more, we decided it was time to drive back home. The colors of the sky began changing as we drove, and the sun dipped behind the houses that lined the streets. Again, I stuck out the Insta360 from our car's sunroof to see what type of footage I would get, and again, I was not left disappointed. On one side was the Niagara River that flew from the falls, and on the other side were many pretty houses and guest suites for tourists. The thing I loved the most was how the trees and sky reflected on our car roof as we drove towards the setting sun. While driving back, we happened to come across an amazing trail that was overlooking the Niagara River and we decided to pull over to enjoy the view just a little bit more. We're a little bit obsessed with gradient skies and sunsets if you couldn't tell already. We decided to explore the spot before continuing the relaxing drive home.
Okay everyone, so we received our Insta360 in the mail. It's finally here. We got the sports bundle along with the Insta360, a carry crate case that we got actually for free because we used a referral code, a lens cap, and then the invisible selfie stick. So let's do an unboxing session. Go, go. So first we'll do some unboxing of uh, the Insta360 itself. It comes with a micro SD card, the Insta360, the warranty card, a guide, a protective pouch, battery, and a charging cable. So let's open this up. So we will set this aside over here. The other plastic junk goes to the side. And here is the box. And this is what it looks like from the inside. This is the Insta360 itself. Camera on both sides, bulging out, so that's why this lens cover cap is super important. And then this is the accessories bag. So taking this out, let's have a look at the accessories. So this is the charging cable. This is the protective pouch that we can carry the Insta360 in. And these are the instruction manuals and the stickers. So that's what's in the Insta360 box itself. So let's put this back together and close it up. Then we'll move on to the carry case. So we actually found out about Insta360 after watching a bunch of bike packers and vloggers who use this camera. One of them was sponsored by Insta360. And uh, if you use their code when making a purchase, then you get stuff for free. So the thing that we got for free is the Insta360 ONE X hard case. So this is what it looks like from the inside where you can safely store your Insta360 in your backpack or wherever and not worry about the lens being scratched. It also has a handy pocket where you could put your wires or your extra batteries and things like that. So that's what it looks like. Super nice, hard cover, so you wouldn't worry about causing damage to the camera. Let's put that away. Moving on, we have the Insta360 Invisible Stick. So as you can see here, it is a selfie stick which extends into a 120 centimeter pole. Um, the unique part about the Insta360 selfie stick is that it is invisible in the actual pictures or videos that you record. So it kind of looks like the camera is hovering around and you're not you can't tell that you are recording the video. So this is what it looks like. The next piece that we have is the sports bundle itself. So the sports bundle we thought was a unique purchase. And right now there is a deal happening. open this up and 
that is what it looks like. And here are the instructions for what is included. So it comes with the invisible selfie stick, which I showed you before. It comes with the helmet and helmet extension pole. It also comes with a chest strap where you can put the Insta360 for easy recording. And then it also comes with a pole mount. So this is the chest mount. We will have to test this out. But this is where you would be installing the Insta360. Also comes with a bunch of these, really helpful. The pole mount where you would install the Insta360. These sticky guys are also really helpful. And this is what we would be attaching to our helmet. Helmet extension pole. That way we can get ourselves in the video when we are recording. And of course, the two most important pieces of the kit, which I forgot to mention, which is the micro SD card, 64 GB, as well as the lens cap cover, which is super important because both of the lenses of the Insta360 bulge out and they're sensitive to scratches. So every single time we go outside with it, we have the lens cap on when we are not recording to avoid any damage to the lens component. If you stayed long enough to watch the unboxing bit, I hope it was helpful in understanding the different components of the camera. Through this video, I hope we were able to show you how the camera works in different environments. Thanks for watching and continuing to join us on our adventures.